Now, when it comes to building muscle and dropping fat, we have to have real life expectations. Now, I remember when I was working out at Shapes and I just started really lifting weights, I was 24 years old and I remember looking at guys in the gym that were at least five to 10 years older than me and they've been working out for five to 10 years longer than me and I wanted to achieve that guy's physique right away. I've even tried to copy their workout routines and diet plans, but I didn't see any of the results that these guys were having and I was working out three hours a day. So when it comes to your goals and what you're trying to accomplish, the first thing I tell you is do not compare yourself to anybody else and set real life expectations. Now, before we go on guys, make sure that you give the video a like. Now, when it comes to working out and you've never worked out before and you start doing a fit club style workouts, regardless of what you do, you're going to see the most amount of muscle gains and fat loss within the first couple months than you will in the first couple years because you're going from zero to a lot of momentum. And unless you double the amount of things that you're doing, which is almost impossible for anybody, there's no way that those types of gains are going to be sustainable. Now use this motivation of getting these crazy gains in the first couple months to continue to push you through into your first year. But understand by the end of the year, that curve is going to level off. Doesn't mean that you stop what you're doing because it's working. Doesn't mean that what you're doing is wrong. It just needs more time and consistency because we didn't get to where we are today by doing one thing just yesterday. Where you are today, the amount of body fat that you have, the amount of weight that you are, the amount of muscle that you have, has all been contributed to from the last five to 10 years of you just doing what you do. So as such, if we're looking to reverse or completely change something, if let's say we've put on 10 pounds in the course of the last five years, then we should probably aim at losing those 10 pounds over the course of the next five years. But I'm gonna tell you this, if you're working with us and you're doing the belly burn and you're doing the Fit Club workouts, if you gain 10 pounds over the past five years, I guarantee you that you'll probably lose that 10 pounds in the first 12 months with us. So if you think that you're going to look like somebody that's been working out for decades, like I said in the first part of the story, it's good luck. That would be like me saying, well, I just started tennis four years ago. I'm 41 years old at the filming of this video. And I'm like, I'm gonna be the next ATP pro. Like, there's no way that I'm ever gonna be like that guy at this phase of my life. I, I don't ever say no way, because I always think that there's always a potential. It's not something that's a realistic goal for me, because then I would have to like, you know, stop running Fit Club, I'd have to start training, you know, like how many times a day, like it's just a big commitment that I'm just not willing to do and give up the rest of my life to make it happen. And so I never say people can't achieve their goals. Yes, me being the next Roger Federer is way out there, but it's not that far out there, okay? We gotta understand that Colonel Sanders wasn't successful in KFC until he was 65 years old. Now that's a franchise and that's a food business, but at 65, you should be winding down and focusing on going to sleep, not revving up and creating millions of franchises. So the same can happen in anything that you dedicate your life to. It's just gonna take time and it's just going to take consistency. So I wanna ask you then, what are your real goals? Do you wanna have abs without losing any weight? Because that's a big thing, is that a lot of people start to really want abs, but then they start to lose a lot of weight, and we gotta understand that abs are muscle, so first we need time to develop the density of the muscle, and then even if we drop the weight and fat and we go really aggressive, if there's no muscle there, then there's not gonna be any abs visible. So if you wanna drop body fat and you wanna see your abs right away or you wanna see some type of success, you're gonna lose weight. But if you don't wanna to lose too much weight and you wanna give your abs more time to develop, then it's gonna take more time. It's like if you want big legs, but you don't wanna gain any weight, then we have to understand that we have to add slow increments of calories to your daily routine Instead of doing a 5,000 calorie surplus where you're gonna gain a lot of weight, but you're also gonna get big legs. So we have to make sure that we're giving ourselves ample of time 
to achieve the goals that we're looking to do. We got to take into factor what time commitment do you have? How hardcore do you want to go into this? And then is this goal realistic within the next 12 months? And so when it comes to you and your goals, I really want you to dial into your expectations. So take your massive goal. If you have a real massive goal, I want you to sit down and I want you to chop it down. You can do this with your coach as well. And if you're looking to help get with your goal setting session, then message us on our website, www.fitclub.fit. Either mention the five days or the belly burn. And then we can sit down and we can see what is a realistic goal that you could accomplish in a long-term span and break it down into smaller bite-sized goals so that we can get you to that massive goal. So there we have it guys. When it comes to getting those muscle gains, we have to have real life expectations. So make sure before you go, give this video a like, and I'm gonna give you one more video on this about nutrition and training habits that you should adopt today so that we can get you to where you wanna go.